Hello survival family and mom survival here. In today's video, we are gonna be discussing five items that I have been stockpiling for my child right now. We all know for the last two years and counting that we've been having shortages, but one thing's for sure is they've been hitting the children's items like crazy. They know, they know that parents will do whatever it takes for their children. And I think honestly, they've purposely been targeting children's items they know that they can charge extra for it. They know parents are gonna be more willing to do things in order to get the things that their children need. It's honestly evil and we just don't wanna be caught up in it, right? So the best way that we can fight back to that is to being prepared, being able to have a stockpile and what you need so that you don't have to compromise certain things in order to get them. I definitely want to provide a sense of normalcy as much as I possibly can for my little guy and make sure that he has what he needs. And so these items I am currently stocking up on will help do that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Number one on this list is going to be the most obvious. I promise they're not all gonna be this obvious, but I have been stockpiling diapers and wipes like crazy. Um, I've noticed a decline in the stock at most stores. My son has eczema and for whatever reason, Huggies is the only brand that doesn't break him out and he is slowing down in size change in diapers so it's made it easy for me to do that i know that's not going to be the case with all parents because little babies do grow out of their sizes of diapers quickly um, but if you can i'd highly suggest to stock up so your child has somewhere obviously to go when they need to go um, and that you're not frantically trying to find the brand that you need at the store Number two is this Horizons chocolate milk. What I love about the chocolate milk is that it does not need to be refrigerated and it has a shelf life up to one year. So I love this as a treat for my little guy, but especially if we were having like trouble finding water, if we ran out of water, if we didn't have a water filter on hand and we we're trying to figure out how to, you know, filter water, I would have these that I could pull out and he could have something to drink and that I wouldn't be worried about him staying hydrated. I also think that this one could work for adults as well, that it's something you could have in your stockpile to pull out as a treat, something, you know, if you ran out of like chocolate bars or whatever, it would be something sweet to have. So I think that it is a great prepping item for all members of the family. Number three are these GoGo -Go squeeze pouches. Now these come in all shapes and sizes, all different brands. These are just the brands that we use. I do like the GoGo -Go brand because this is a yogurt and just like the milk, it doesn't need to be refrigerated and it has up to a year shelf life. They also have pudding and here in a second, I'll show you the applesauce. And we also use the Kirkland's brand because I can find it at Costco. And what I love about that brand is that it actually has a serving of vegetables in it, which is awesome. And these are just so convenient. Like we use them all the time for when we're out at the park or if we go to church and I need to have a snack to hold them over till lunch. But I also think that they're the perfect item to put into your kid's bug out bag, maybe your vehicle, just to have on hand something simple that would nourish them and keep them um, satisfied until you could find them something else to eat. Number four is clothes. Now I know just like diapers, this one's a little bit difficult because we replace, I know with my son, his wardrobe probably every what, three to four months. They grow like crazy. You don't get a lot of like use out of them, I feel like, especially in the younger years. But with shortage is coming up and I have noticed last time I was at the store, there's already, it's really hard to find boy clothes, but it was so picked over. There wasn't much available. And so I've really been trying to at least within the next year have a couple of outfits, a couple pajamas set back for him. So I know that he is going to be clothed and taken care of. Number five and the last item that we are going to go over today is cold and flu medicine and anything that you need to get through the cold and flu season because unfortunately that is upon us. I know last year um, we didn't stock up a ton before my son was here because I didn't know what he could have. I didn't know if he would be allergic to anything. I didn't know what brands I would want to use. And we actually got hit with COVID. And when we went out to look for medicine for him to have some relief, we could barely find anything on the shelves. So I definitely really suggest, even if you don't quite know what you want, to pick up just a few things here and there because there's a ton of holes when it comes to children's medicine even more so now i was just looking at cvs the other day and they barely had 
anything on the shelves. So I really suggest stocking up on this. Like I said, the sixth season is coming and we just you want to make sure that you have what you need for your kids to make them comfortable if they do get sick. There's not a ton of videos out there um, targeted towards parents, especially with younger children. That's not really a situation we want to find ourselves in with survival. And I think a lot of people kind of just don't cover that topic. And so I'm going to try my best to continue to put out videos like this. So if this was helpful, if you would like more ideas to stock up on things, let me know in the comment section down below and I will make a part two of this video um, and even make a longer list on it if it is helpful. If not, just give me a big thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!